Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the Harder and Steamback Infinity Cult of Paint Edition Airbrush. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to Element Games who sent me the airbrush out for review. If you check the description box down below there will be a direct link to Element Games web store where you can check out all the great products they sell and in particular this Infinity Cult of Paint Edition Airbrush. Okay, so the first thing we notice is that we get a really nice um, manual in the box which goes over the basics of how to start airbrushing. As you can see, it has multiple languages and it has some photographs as well just to show you exactly what you should be doing with the airbrush. The HNS Infinity Airbrush comes in a nice box, and as you can see, as soon as we open it up, we can see that absolutely gorgeous Infinity Quarter Paint Edition Airbrush. It has full aluminium black body with gold accents. Here I'm pointing out that it also comes with a quick release cap that you can remove and place it straight onto a normal Awata size hose. It also comes with a large airbrush cup, but you can actually airbrush straight from the tiny, tiny thimble sized cup that's uh, pre-attached to the airbrush itself. There's a few accessories that come in the box and we have a pronged nozzle cap to protect the needle as the needle's exposed with a cap that comes pre-installed with the airbrush. We also have a tool to remove the back of the airbrush and we also have a protective cap to place onto the airbrush front as well. As you can see here the Infinity has beautiful uh, black and gold accents and a full aluminium body. It also comes with a uniquely designed trigger that's not present on the other Infinity CR Plus uh, airbrush and as we go to the back of the airbrush we can see it has a paint limiting system that when we actually press the button in it engages the paint limiting system and we can dial it in and dial it out to limit the travel on the airbrush trigger which will give you exact line weights every single time there is other airbrushes with paint limiting systems but i believe the infinity quarter paint edition and infinity in general has the best in class for this feature the airbrush is very very simplistic in the regard of taking it apart and here i'm going to show you now you just twist the back off like so i'm going to loosen off the chucking nut on the back of the airbrush we also got that tool there that's going to enable us to dismantle the back of the spring assembly. So I'm just placing that tool in like so just to loosen it off. And now we're going to take off the spring assembly like so. And then the trigger pops out. Now this trigger is meant to be used by a left handed or a right handed person and you can just literally spin the trigger around to your preference. I'm left handed so I turned it round so it was comfortable to use in my left hand. Here I'm just taking off the uh, nozzle cap and inside is the fluid nozzle as you'll see me taking out just like so. But as I say, it takes about a minute to disassemble this airbrush and about a minute to put it back together. Very, very easy to do indeed. While I'm placing the airbrush together, I'm just going to go over a few of the key differences between the Infinity Quarter Paint Edition and the standard Infinity. The standard Infinity has an aluminium um, handle, but the front of the airbrush is not whereas on the Court of Paint edition it's aluminium throughout so it's much more lighter and more comfortable to use. It also has a unique design trigger which I found was ultra comfortable and really really nice to use. It also has a new airbrush 
uh, needle system uh, where it's been redesigned to make paint flow even better. Another key feature of the Court of Paint edition of airbrushes is it comes with a 0.4mm needle nozzle set. This set is only available on the Infinity 2-in-1 sets and if you buy it separately. My personal preference for airbrushes is to have larger needle nozzle sets as I find that the smaller ones can be really tricky to get paint ratios right and they don't like heavier paints or primers. The guys from Quarter Paint chose the 0.4mm needle nozzle set specifically for this purpose and I totally agree with their sentiments. Here I've hooked up my airbrush to my compressor and we're going to do a test on it using some Vallejo Game Air Bloody Red. I'm going to add the Bloody Red to the airbrush without any type of dilution at all just to show you how smooth this airbrush is for the complete beginner that just wants to place the paint in the airbrush cup and get going. As you can see I'm still able to get ultra fine lines and I'm able to get some really nice medium spray patterns as well. Don't be fooled by the fact that it's a 0.4mm needle nozzle set guys. People think that you can't get fine detail with a larger needle nozzle set but you can as illustrated here. I won't be painting a miniature with this airbrush because I'm actually giving it away guys. Yes that's right, a very very amazing airbrush indeed that I'm going to be giving away to one lucky winner. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel over the following couple of days guys and I'll get a video up explaining the rules on how you can enter to win this amazing airbrush courtesy of the guys from Element Games. As you can see I'm just effortlessly laying down the paint here guys. I absolutely love this airbrush. I was asked to um, compare it to my trusty workhorse Awata Eclipse and if I've got to be honest this actually pips the Awata Eclipse in many areas. The only area that I think the Awata Eclipse might beat this is in robustness as I've had it seven, about 6 or 7 years now and it works absolutely um, flawlessly still. But as I've not owned this airbrush for years I can't actually uh, substantiate those claims. If you've got any questions at all about this airbrush or you're thinking of getting into airbrushing leave a comment in the comments field down below and I'll try my best to answer as many as I possibly can. Lastly guys I want to say a huge thank you once again to Element Games who sent me the airbrush out for review and are also allowing me to give it away to one lucky winner shortly. So uh, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this review guys and I'll catch you in the next one.